Do you ever walk into a room and instantly notice that it needs more plants? Me too. There's just something about surrounding yourself with greenery that makes a space feel so alive. But let's be honest, not everyone starts with the jungle. Plant addiction happens along the way and we all make mistakes. So before spending tons of money buying random plants at big box stores, we're going to go through the three changes that every plant enthusiast makes before creating their amazing indoor jungles. I am a houseplant enthusiast and aerod collector and it all started with a little pink princess philodendron. I stumbled across it one day and let's just say the price was higher than usual. Toxic behavior I know but this got me hooked. So after I smuggled it, having to drive far distances to get the plant of my dreams, I nurtured and looked after that plant like it was my job. Believe it or not, our plants want to thrive and grow. They just need a little help getting there. Witnessing this little piece of nature unfurl its precious little leaves sparked the realization in me that we are meant to live with nature and not be separated by it. I felt a responsibility to care for this plant and I was determined to create the perfect conditions it needed to thrive, no matter the effort. The message here is to buy plants that truly resonate with you, not just the trendy options. Your collection is a reflection of your personality. And it's okay to have favorites. When you buy a plant that you really love, you're going to give it the attention that it deserves. And a beautiful relationship will begin. Look, some relationships end, unfortunately. Yes, I'm talking about you, variegated peace lily. But this takes me back. Remember the days of using any basic soil medium for all your plants? Well, those days are long past. It feels like we've all been enrolled in plant mixology and everyone's getting to create their perfect concoctions for each and every plant. Learning about this really opened up my eyes to the fun and experimentation side of tropical house plant keeping. I mean, we're talking perlite, lecker, cocoa chips, cocoa peat, charcoal. The possibilities are endless and I think it's so fun getting to experiment and find out what works for your plants. I'd like to believe it's a journey and not a destination. So go out there and experiment. It seems like we have our own special mixes for some plants. So if I can ask all the alocasia growers to please share your mix down below in the comments. I'll share mine too. Bad vibes. Living in a low light apartment left a lot of my plants super leggy reaching out towards the window. So the last change that we all need to make is to create adequate lighting. Now the decision was to invest in some artificial lighting. This was an absolute game changer and my plants loved it so much and were looking so healthy. I've in fact doubled down and got even more lights. The key here is using strong enough bulbs to minimize fixtures. And of course you can always make them look stylish. If you want to learn more about watering, check this video over here.